Okay, so we are up on the peak of my roof, the left side, the west side. Uh, here's the last microinverter in a string, and then I'm using a junction box. This is just a two-gang outdoor rated box, and I've got the trunk cable uh, from the microinverter going in through a strain relief weatherproof uh, cable gland into the box. Uh, this is all 12 gauge wiring and it's just wire nutted together so I'll just uh, put the cover on there and that has a waterproof gasket of course and then this comes down with three quarter inch PVC to the middle box and that is connect, uh, supported every 36 inches uh, but this is one circuit and then so the wiring is going to just pass through that box and on down. Now here in the middle box, uh, the wiring that goes to the top box simply passes through as its own circuit. Uh, and here we have another circuit started uh, with the connections from uh, the middle row of microinverters. And again, the conduit just passes down the roof. It's supported underneath uh, the next section of racking. Uh, so it's three quarter inch conduit and something out has two 240 volt circuits running through it. And then at the bottom box, uh, the one circuit connects in parallel, just wire nuts, nothing fancy, um, to the bottom row here. Now here in the bottom box, this doesn't look quite as clean because uh, this is where we're doing all the pulling the cables from and to. Uh, so again, here is uh, from the end microinverter in the row into the box. Um, so I had pulled the wire through for that second circuit, pulled up a loop, snipped it, and then wire nutted. The wire's coming down, the wire's going out, and the wire's coming over here. And the topmost circuit, again, just passes through, goes down, around, around the corner, and down to the disconnect box. Now over here, um, one of these zip ties is going to be under the solar panel, the other will be exposed. Those are just temporary. I think what I'm going to do is try to find like some stainless steel zip ties to use. I don't see any other great way of uh, attaching the conduit right there. Of course, right around the corner, the conduit is supported by the pulling body just on the other side. So looking up from the bottom of the roof line, the very top box, that's its own single circuit. Uh, eight panels, the top row. The second box is the start of the second circuit. Uh, eight, eight solar panels, eight microinverters, and then that ties in with the bottom row for a total of 16 solar panels and inverters, and then comes down through the conduit and around the edge of the roof. So from the view on the ground, this is the, uh, the bottom left, uh, the, the southwest corner of the garage. I did a little magic with a couple of pieces of conduit, uh, kind of bending them just a little bit to go to that pulling body, which then goes to a second pulling body that goes down along the corner and then follows an elbow to the disconnect. So this is my interconnection disconnect switch as labeled. And just by doing this, that turns the entire system on or off. Now, of course, it is wired up. Um, it is not up and running yet, and we'll just leave that in the off position. This here is the electrical disconnect box. It's got two 240 volt uh, circuit breakers in it, and as you can see, I got the purple and the black is one 240 volt circuit, and the red and the other black is the other 240 volt circuit. And then, of course, neutral on the side here, grounds over there, and then out of the circuit breaker, it goes right back through the back here into the garage to the main circuit breaker panel. And then here's our cover. We just need to make sure that the cutout matches up with the circuits. And it just kind of snaps into place. And then this here is the magic little doohickey that locks in here and it slides up and down and turn the circuit breakers off and that engages with the back of the cover right in here, like that. So then when you turn this on and off, this slides up and down and it turns the circuits on or off.
And then this can also be locked uh, in the off position and the cover can be locked shut as well. And then this was the legal signage requirement from the utility was this exact wording on a permanently affixed plaque. I ordered this mail order and it's got a sticky back. Now this is something that was not specifically requested by my power utility, but it's something I did see requested by a lot of other power utilities, so I thought I'd put it on. Uh, it simply uh, lets a utility worker know that, hey, there's something else connected to this meter that could produce power, and then line of sight from the meter, you can see the disconnect. And then inside the garage, a piece of conduit comes straight out the back of the uh, disconnect box. It goes into this pulling body and it just follows an elbow into the main panel, 240 volts. So it's a double breaker right here and of course the neutral and the ground, the, the bars on either side of the box. So that's it. It's very simple. It's just a 30 amp, 240 volt breaker. Nothing else to it. Uh, I put in a call to the electrical inspector and hopefully he'll be out here uh, sometime soon. So here's kind of your wide shot view. We are looking, uh, that's east, that's north, and here's the, uh, the southwest corner of the garage. You can see the racking, you can see the conduit comes around. There's my disconnect, and then uh, we finally got all the parts for doing the siding. So this afternoon we're gonna start siding this thing as well.